Welcome back to Development Division. This is Chris, and today my Honda Civic is disabled. No forwards, no backwards, no park, no nothing. I think I blew a CV axle, and today I want to show you how to replace one. For the removal and install, you will need a new CV axle, pry bar, 12 inches or less. I was working from the floor on this project, so it kind of dictated how long my pry bar could be, but if you're working on a lift, uh, I don't really think there is a limit on what type of pry bar you can use. Wheel keys if necessary. A torque wrench capable up to 100 foot pounds. 7 8 18 mm, 17 mm, and 15 mm closed and open ended combination wrenches. 17, 18, 15, 21, 12, and 32 mm deep hex sockets. 1 half to 3 eighths conversion socket, a 12 inch breaker bar, a 3 eighths ratchet, needle nose pliers, a 4 pound sledge, dead blow hammer, and some medium strength thread locker. Begin by raising up the front of the vehicle. If you are unsure of the correct jack locations, refer to your owner's manual. On this vehicle, the front lift point is located on the pinch seam along the bottom of the car. And remember to always use jack stands when working under a vehicle. Proceed by removing the lug nuts and the wheel. Placing the wheel under the car adds extra safety in case of a jack stand malfunction. Alright, so I got the wheel off. And I think my suspicions are correct. The CV axle should not be doing that. Should not be acting this way. And if you guys can see in there, there's, there's grease kind of all over in kind of a nice circle form pattern. And I think this joint just busted and all that grease kind of just flew around in there. So our new axle is here and it's standing by. I must first figure out how to access it. We're gonna take off the brake caliper, remove the tie rod end, and then remove our our uh, two bolts here that secures the strut to our knuckle and hopefully that will give us enough room to kind of peel this back. I'm also going to take off this nut while everything's still together. So we have two 17 millimeter bolts holding on our caliper bracket to our knuckle. Ah. Those two bolts out. Move this. Use a zip tie or bungee cord to hold the brake caliper assembly up and out of the way. This will prevent excess damage to the brake line. I'm now going to loosen up the axle nut here. It's at 32 millimeter. There we go. I want to leave that loosely screwed on for right now as I work on taking off the upper bolts on the knuckle and the tie rod end. I'm going to work on taking out this cotter pin. I'm just going to use my needle nose pliers. These have kind of a kind of a 30 degree bend in them. Kind of nice. Nice to have a set of these in your toolkit. I'm gonna try to try my best not to destroy this cotter pin. I want to reuse it. There we go. On this 
this needs to be. 18 millimeter. Once you crack that loose, we'll take off this castle nut, put it upside down, back onto the stud. Let's give it a little bit of a shot just to get it out of that taper. There we go, just until the uh, this is all flush with the stud and the nut. Those two faces are even. Let me go get my... Yeah, let me go get my metal hammer. Take off the nut. Now it should drop out. Just like that. Put this nut back on the top just so I don't lose it. There you go. Let's set this off to the side for now. For the top bolt, we have a 15 millimeter. This is on my impact gun. We have an 18 nut on the other side. Okay, and then on the bottom, we have a 17, and I like to use a 7 8 on this nut, but I believe it's usually, I think it's actually a 21 millimeter. I just don't have an open ended wrench of that size. Get this one off. Usually that one comes off pretty easily. Let's go ahead and maneuver these bolts out. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my rotor just because I don't have the set screw in it. I'm gonna set this off to the top of my wheel. And now, the rest of this should just kind of come out. Let's take this nut off. Oh, I'm gonna pull on my, you know what? Before I take that out, I want to remove my ABS sensor just from my strut here, just so it's out of the way. There we go. Just kind of give it some little more room to kind of tug on. Give me some room. Now I should be able to get this axle out. There we go. Now this is out of the knuckle. I just need to get my pry bar here and uh, get on the other side and pop it out of the transmission. This is uh this is a <laughs> I don't I don't think I don't think this should be look like this. All right. So as you guys saw, I got the old CV axle out and look at this. This is it's supposed to be in a straight line, kind of like this end here. See how it's straight? This this is this is like a weird type of ED going on for this Honda. However, we have our new axle here. Let's go ahead and compare the old with the new. Looks exactly about the same. The length, I'm not gonna worry too much about at this point just because this did explode, so it's not gonna be accurate. And like, yeah, so pretty sure this should be all the way over here. So I think these are actually the same size. This is just crap. So we got this new one from Import Direct. Otto's or uh, O'Reilly's actually. Here is the code, the part number if you're looking to buy one for yourself. Import direct, available at O'Reilly's. All I'm going to do to prep these is remove this new axle nut they provided me with, and I'm going to add a little bit of grease to the spline here, and uh, we should be good to go and ready to rock. This should be pretty quick. So let's go ahead and install the new CV axle.
So if you want to take your install a step further and do it better than I'm doing an install on my car, then what you can do is put some anti-seize on these splines here. That way, if you ever, God forbid, need to take out this axle again, it'll come out very easily and it won't seize or corrode or uh, get stuck inside of your hub. Put some anti-seize there and some anti-seize there. Less is more, guys. Don't get that stuff everywhere because that will go everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna remove this nut from our axle. See if I can slip this into my knuckle here. I just gotta line up the splines. Should be easy enough. Let's turn that forward. There we go. Came out perfectly. Let's get that new nut. I'm gonna put some blue thread locker on this. That should be plenty. We won't fully tie in this down just yet. I'm gonna wait till I get a little bit more of this together before I fully tie everything down. I'm just gonna run that in just so it holds in place. Next thing I want to attach is my strut here. Bolts, and these will also be secured with blue thread locker. And then I want to get my tie rod end and attach that. I got my tie rod end in there, finger tight. So now we have every bolt that we undone finger tight. I'm going to go ahead and put the torque specs up on the screen, tighten everything down, and I'll see you tonight for a night run. stuck in I-35 traffic for a little bit, so I will have to leave you guys until next Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. This is Chris. I'll see you next week. And uh, I'm ready to race. <laughs>